Hi, my name is Chris Richter and welcome to Moodle at Ricochet. We're going to look at Moodle admin hint number eight, how to check performance overview. In Moodle, there are a collection of performance things that you should be checking quite regularly to make sure that your system is running correctly. To do that, you must be a site administrator and we're going to have a look in the report. So let's have a look. In Moodle, I've logged into version 3.6 as an administrator. We're going to go to Site Admin, choose Reports, and then choose Performance Overview. In version 3.6, you have these five options. The first one is the Theme Designer mode. Because I've recently been working on a modification to a theme, I have Theme Designer mode turned on and this obviously slows down the system a little bit. It's designed to not cache certain things that are used when you're doing or when you're designing a theme. So I currently have theme designer mode enabled. On your production server you definitely should not have that enabled but on a development environment you could. Obviously if you've finished designing your themes it's best to go back in and change those settings and switch it back. To do that there is a cog over on the right hand side you can see the theme designer settings have now appeared. Theme designer mode is currently on. I could switch that back, turn it off, but I'm not going to because I am still working on that theme. So I'll leave that setting there for the moment. Let's go back and have a look at the next performance item. Next one is cache JavaScript. If disabled, page might load slow. So it's currently enabled, which means it's, it is caching the JavaScript, which is just what we want. So green is good. Debug messages. You may have seen me change settings on the debug message before. When I'm working on some of the theme design changes or working on something to do with Moodle and trying to find out a plugin problem or an issue, I'll often turn the debug messages on to developer. This will show more messages for me so I understand what's happening in the background in Moodle. Green, none, do not show any errors or warnings is what you want it to say. So that's where you want that setting. Automated backups, you may have automated backups turned on and that is okay, but read the message here. Performance may be affected during the backup process. If enabled, backups should be scheduled for off-peak times. So when you do use automated backup, which is fine to use, make sure you have it scheduled in whatever the downtime is. Uh, for your particular Moodle server. In some cases that may be very difficult, but often most people are using the Moodle server in a certain location or a certain region, and you should be able to find a time that there is a bit of downtime where there'll be less activity on the server. The last one is enable statistics, and I have them disabled on here because this is a development server. You may want statistics enabled or you may need them enabled for some of your third-party plugins that monitor Moodle and log information about Moodle. In this case, it's disabled. Preferably that is what it should be because it does slow down your system as well. It is worth having a look at performance overview in Moodle to make sure that you're giving Moodle the best opportunity of working as efficiently as possible. My name's Chris Richter from Moodle at Ricochet. I hope this has been helpful and I'll talk to you soon. If you uh, would like to know about some more of the top 10 admin tasks that a Moodle administrator should know about, Click on the link below this video. I'll take you through how to clear a cache, how to run cron, how to set tasks, turning on debugging, reading log files, edit the config, run automated backups, check performance overview, check security reports, and how to use the ad hoc database queries. I hope this has been helpful. Please feel free to check out more videos on how to make the most out of the Moodle learning management system.